part of Kenya's most forested county, a piece of greenery may not look like much. But here in Hombe Forest, they have a story to tell. Just 16 years ago, this whole forest did not exist. About 2,000 hectares was empty ground. And in the year 1998 to 2001, there was a lot of danger of degazettement. But locals who considered the plantation forest a crucial water catchment area would not let the forest be degazated. In a rare mobilization exercise, communities rallied together and started massive bush tree nurseries and began replanting trees here. And we were able to rehabilitate it or to replant over 1,200 hectares of empty land uh, between the year 2001 and 2003. Just over a decade later, part of what was once empty land is now filled with trees. They managed to save the forest from degazettement, but it was far from mission accomplished. 2010 to 2014 now, all the other remaining areas over, 4, 000, over 600 hectares have already been done. The trees planted in the second phase of the rehabilitation are catching on and communities have gone one step further. Welcome to the Hombe Community's Central Tree Nursery. Here you will find more than a dozen tree species. Both exotic and indigenous. The things that we look at is the future of conservation in connection with the people's livelihoods. With conservation in mind, the nursery is now focusing on growing giant bamboo and croton tree seedlings. For riparian rehabilitation, food production and also the cottage industry. Bamboo, experts say, is a good replacement for blue gum trees which the government has been campaigning to have uprooted from riparian areas. Since the nursery was started four years ago, it has been raising at least half a million tree seedlings every year. Schools and farmers are putting the tree seedlings to good use. Every season, before I came here, I was able to manage the department to ten to twenty kwagu. Simon Moai is among farmers who have planted trees on their shambas under what is known as the on-farm tree planting program. You see that there are ten percent here. Forest, the whole country. Kwa hivyo nasa matawe kwa kwa mwenyewe miti mefunzwa. Mieta mii kwa kwa ni hazi maniwe 10% ni kwe na na miti. Mwai is hoping to get the 10% tree cover on his farm soon. Many other farmers here are reading from the same script. Tree bells are a common feature in many homes. Ata ukiwa iwa nipa ni kutuza forest. Hakuna mutu wana tegemea nini ata ata kudestroy. Kenya's forest cover remains awfully low, with the 10% United Nations minimum still largely elusive. But here in Hombe Forest, they are doing their bit, and farmers like Mwai are now a happier lot. But even as residents enjoy the benefits of conservation, those who help bring Hombe Forest back to life have concerns. The Kenya Forest Service is now selling uh, through thinning, some of them by career fairing, but no benefits is coming to the community. NACOFA initiated a program with the, some assistance from ACT to review the forest bill so that the issues of benefit sharing can be factored in in law. The forest bill still hangs in the balance. For now though, communities in Hombe continue to safeguard the forest. You cannot be able to do anything illegal in this forest because communities allowed it and they feel that it is their forest. With the rehabilitation of over 1,200 hectares of forest land and with the community embracing the on-farm tree planting program, locals in Hombe have not only helped book Nyeri the top slot on the list of counties with the highest forest cover in the country at 38%. They are also reaping the benefits of conservation. Rita Chinina, KTN. Homber Forest, Nyeri County.